하나 둘셋 We play as a celebration for winning the 2022 Red Bull Paper Wings in Aerobatics I'm going to reveal one of my performance done in 2015 that took me up to the ninth place in aerobatics. This performance was never done by any other aerobatic players because it is really hard to do. But I'm going to reveal how to fold and fly this aerobatics. Two paper airplanes for this. One is a giant ring plane and the other one is a plane called Jaksar. In order to fold this Jaksar plane, there should be a link above here. You can just click there and fold this Jaksar plane. This plane is very fast and precise. It can pierce into watermelons, coconuts, or it can even go through a very tiny hole or a giant ring plane like this. And in order to fold and fly this giant ring plane, you will need a special ingredient and special training how to throw this giant ring plane. And we are going to start the tutorial now. First of all, I hope you already folded the Jaksal plane in order to be used. And then, to fold this giant ring plane, you will need a special ingredient with a special size. Uh, for the gram for this paper, you should get at least 120 gram per meter squared. And with a size of 54.2 and 39.2 centimeter. In Korea, we say 사절지. And to fold this, you will need to fold to the long half. Now this is a real big sized plane. So you will need a plenty of space to do it. So when the paper is folded in half, open the paper and you should mark a three millimeter gap from this center line and fold this line to the three millimeter gap there should be enough gap from the center line fold the thick part into half you should not fold the half of the center line you should fold only the half of the thick part you should always use a folding card or a ruler to make it flat as possible and then we are going to fold the center line upwards like this you should not fold the thick part you should only fold the center line upwards and again you should make it as flat as possible and then you will need to fold this thick half again it's gonna be real thick if you used um, about 150 or 180 gram per meter squared paper it is going to be real really hard to fold this so I kind of prefer 120 gram Per meter squared for this giant ring plane when that's done we're going to open only the thick part once and we are going to do a special move that will make this ring plane more round without this special move when you try to fold it into a round shape it looks like this we want this ring plane to be a perfect circle so 
you're going to do a special move. You will need some kind of pillar or a corner of the table. You can use anything you want. One part of this ring plane will have layers and the other part doesn't have the layers. Place this layered part on the corner of the table. We're going to make a crease. Like this. When you do this special move, if you try to make it a round shape, it will actually be a perfect round shape like this. When the special move is done, gather the both ends of the plane together like this. Now, this is a very important step. If you're right-handed, place your right side of the plane underneath the left side of the plane like this. However, if you're left-handed, place your left side of the plane underneath the right side of the plane. This is a very important step. Do you know the reason why? It's because of this gap right here. So my object is to throw this jacksel plane through the ring plane, right? In order to do that, my ring plane should go as straight line as possible. If it goes sideways unpredictably, I'm going to fail this jacksel plane, right? So in order for this ring plane to go straight, it needs to spin and it needs to spin a lot. So in order to spin it, I'm going to need a little bit of friction. So I can make a friction with this um, gap right here. So I'm going to place my uh, middle finger and the fourth finger here so it can give a nice spin using my fingers. I'm a right-handed person, so I'm going to place my right side underneath the left side. It has to go deeply enough, about eight centimeters, and fold along the crease, along the folded line in the middle here. It might get some wrinkles, but it doesn't matter. Just fold it anyway. So there's a like a centimeter um, cross, cross section here. And you have to make it as perfectly. Yeah, when that's done, there's too much gap here. Uh, this is not good for going a straight line. So you will need a little bit of tape. Don't, don't use too much tape here. You, have, you will need to place your tape just the edge of this ring plane right here. You should not place your tape here. This is for the friction for my left hand. So this is it. Folding the giant ring plane is done and you will need to practice how to fly them. So to fly this giant ring plane, you will need both hands. One is a thruster. You have to push the plane in, or in order to get a thrust. And the other hand is used for spinning the plane. Without the spin, it will go sideways. So I will need to place my uh, middle two fingers into the gap right here so that I can give a very nice I'm going to push it with my right hand and my left hand so I'm going to give a little bit of wind up and then both spinning and thrust give both spinning and thrust like this there's a wind up and spin and throw so wind up and spinning and throwing at the same time. Wind up and throw. Next step is to use this jacksel plane together with this ring plane. You will want to hold your jacksel hand with your right hand and you have to push the ring plane with 
this palm right here. So you will place your hand like this and throw the ring plane the same way as before. So like this, wind up, throw, and then I'm going to throw this jacksar plane through the ring plane. Wind up, throw, and throw this jacksar plane. So the actual performance looks something like this. So I hope you have fun flying this giant ring plane. I'll see you next time. We play.